So we're in just slightly unfamiliar territory right now. We are currently in my office, I guess you want to call it that, and we are soldering this. So I got these terminal blocks from Amazon because they are literally the only ones I could find. This is called the Big Easy Driver and it drives the stepper motor and micro steps and all that good stuff. And I'm gonna saw I've never soldered before. And these terminal blocks are the pins are just spaced too far apart. So the terminal block sits above the board here, which is okay, but it makes it really hard to solder this, and it's my first time soldering anything ever. So I said screw it because these are way too far apart, these pins right here. I'm just going to go ahead and, and solder these jumpers in here where they go. I'll leave that one there. So that's my first time soldering. And if you haven't noticed, my 3D printer used to sit here and it's no longer here. I sold it to make some money for an upcoming project. So I got it. Got the easy driver hooked up here, Arduino, and everything hooked up to the computer. Got the program in there. And all I'm doing right now while I wait on the 9 volt battery holder and wire. Just hook these two plugs up right up to the 9 volt battery and off she goes. Now it doesn't really know where it's at because when I cut power to it it ends up dropping like that because I cut the power to the stepper motor and there's no longer any power to hold up the door. So when I bring power back to it it doesn't really know where it's at so it can skip a few steps but like you just heard there it'll skip a few steps before it hooks back up. So now I just want to wrap all this stuff up with some electrical tape and put a little bit of hot glue in it. Now this isn't something I necessarily want to do, but I just want to put a little bit on there. Hot glue comes off fairly easy, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Put those right on there just to protect them, keep them in while it's in use. And it really is hard to tell how long this thing's going to be in use. Maybe not even at all if I don't get the stupid thing running. So my noviceness really got in the way for this one right here. And I'm not an electronics or electrical engineer by any means. Therefore, I have no idea about any electrical wiring and stuff like that. But that's why I'm doing this is because I want to learn it. So after countless times of trying to get this code to work, I finally got it. So basically, when you plug this thing in to an outlet, USB, plug it into an outlet and it delays for how long? So, like I said, I wanted it to delay for four hours. Well, right now I have it only delaying for eight seconds because I don't want someone to sit here for four hours. So we're gonna try that out. And so I'll plug this in and then turn the battery pack on for the stepper motor. So ignore the high-pitched whining noise of the stepper motor. All I'm going to do is hit the reset button on the back of the Arduino and it'll wait eight seconds. So, clicked. That's it. So I can make that delay function however long I want. Four hours would be ideal. So that's like four million, so four thousand. It's only 14,400 seconds. So that's all I have to delay it. And after that, it should be good to go. So you put whatever you want in the top there. And it would drop out after however long you want. So it took me a really long time to code this thing. So that's why I got this book. So I'm just going to read up on this book and see what I can find out. So next time I have an Arduino project like this, then it doesn't take me 16 years to figure out how to code this stupid thing. After all that was done, the code was literally this long. At any rate, this is just a really good project that I've been wanting to do. And I've only ever had an Arduino 
blink an LED before this. So I would say I'm a novice at Arduinos and it took me a long time to figure out how to code. At any rate, I'm done now and it works. So we're just gonna roll with it. And that is it for now, so thanks for watching.